All right, and we are on. What's up guys, my name's Chris, and I just finished my first week of online classes at the University of California at Santa Barbara in the Applied Mathematics program. I'm making this video as a way to share my experience of my first week and to hopefully provide some value to any students who are thinking about transferring to the university in math or data science and are interested in an insight on the difficulty of the classes. So a little background on me. I transferred this year from a California community college. Now a piece of advice that I got from a lot of different people, undergraduate advisors and also people who had transferred to UCSB previously everybody recommended to take it pretty light your first quarter. They recommended that you take no more than two majors classes, especially if it's in a STEM field, uh, and try to get as close to 12 units as possible, which is full time. Now, most of the classes that I saw were four units, and so that would be about three classes. So in addition to those two majors classes, they recommend taking some sort of elective. I messed around at community college for about five years, so I'm done with taking electives. So I decided to take a different class that could also count towards my major. So most people who are coming into UC Santa Barbara for math are going to have to take a specific set of classes when they first come in, whether that's going in for financial math or whether that's going in for applied math or uh, pure math your first several quarters are probably going to be pretty similar. Now, if you're taking a mathematics major, you can take upper division statistics classes to help satisfy some of your unit requirements. Now, the thing with Santa Barbara is when they admit you, you're not admitted as a mathematics major. So you're admitted as something called a pre-math major. So you have to take math eight, which is the transition to upper division math or the introduction to proof writing. You have to pass that class before you're admitted into the full major. So I'm taking four classes this quarter. The first one is math eight. That class is five units, so it's supposed to be a pretty heavy class. I'm taking that with Professor Castella, and it's good so far. It's not too heavy. The next class that I'm taking is math 190. It's called special topics in mathematics. I'm taking that with Professor Castile. That's a four unit class. The next class that I'm taking is called Math 94. It's a group studies class and they have people from industry, people who graduated with mathematics degrees. They have them come back and speak to the class and let us know what life is like after college, what kind of employment opportunities there are uh, in industry. So the last class that I'm taking is called PSTAT 10. Uh, it's a statistics class and it focuses on uh, learning the R programming language fundamentals. I'm an applied math major, but I'm thinking of double majoring in statistics and data science. That's one major, statistics and data science. And so PSTAT 10 is a prerequisite for many of the upper division statistics classes that I will be taking if I am indeed going to major in statistics and data science. So the Math 8 class is known to be pretty challenging. I got a couple of warnings from people, I asked people on Reddit who had gone to the school. Now I tried to be strategic about this and I did some preparation over the summer. I started studying this book called How to Prove It by Daniel Velleman. And so far after this first week, I feel pretty confident about everything that I've seen in the class. And if I hadn't taken the time to study that, I would definitely be feeling more intimidated right now. So if you are planning on coming into UCSB for a math major, then I absolutely recommend doing a little bit of practice up front uh, and reading that book on how to write proofs and going through it and studying it over the summer. So I'm taking four classes and my schedule is pretty light. It doesn't feel too heavy. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I pretty much have classes from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then Mondays and Wednesdays, I have like a one hour class in the evening. And then on Wednesdays, I have a one hour class at 11 o'clock. So it doesn't feel that heavy. I have a lot of free time, extra time to do homework and to do other things as well. So let's talk about the challenges. So the biggest thing for me right now is the disappointment of expecting to go to university and be like in a big social environment and not having that happen, right? I'm taking classes at home, I'm sitting at my desk. Um, I've got awesome roommates, so that's nice, but there's not a lot of social interaction. So usually during classes, everybody will have their cameras off, um, which is like, what's fun in that? You wanna be able to look at people like picking their nose, you know? Like you wanna see people's goofy faces and like their cats walking on their desk, whatever. Um, but they'll end the class and like everyone will dip out. Like nobody even hangs out to like talk to each other or anything. So, which is like kind of sad. 
Um, but I think with time and over the weeks, I think people will get a little closer. They'll be less shy uh, and they'll be showing it. But because of that like challenge, right? Um, I'm going to do my best to like go to office hours and go to the discussion sections um, and hopefully like meet some people and be able to connect even though we're all studying at our houses in different places. Uh, now another thing, so a lot of the bigger classes, there's two parts to them. So there's a part called the lecture, then there's a part called the section, which is like a supplemental meeting, usually with a TA um, and the rest of the class. So my math eight and my PSTAT 10, the coding class, um, have sections. Uh, and the PSTAT sections are like the lab part. Um, and then Math 190 and 194 don't have those sections. Okay, now one last thing. There's a program offered by MESA, which stands for Math Engineering Science Achievement. It's mostly directed towards STEM majors, but for all incoming students, either freshmen or transfer students. There's a program at UCSB called MESA STP. It stands for the Successful Transfer Program. And it's three weeks before school starts. They have you go through these like classes that you're not graded on. They're not part of your actual curriculum, but it's three weeks of classes to get you ready for the rigor of transferring into a university. And so they go over a math class, a physics class, a Python programming class, a MATLAB programming class. Then they have uh, sections where you work on projects with the other students. And they also have sessions where representatives of the different organizations on campus come and talk to you. And so they let you know about some of the resources that you can access um, when you're at school. So I did that program. If I was a freshman coming in and had never been to a university, I would absolutely recommend taking that class. I think it would help put you in the right mindset for transferring to a university. Okay, you guys, so I don't wanna make this too long, but that is just a quick recap of my experience for my first week in the applied math program at the University of California at Santa Barbara. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Um, I'll be coming out with updates every so often in the future, just talking about the program and the things that I experience uh, in it. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of your communities, take care of your families, and we'll see you next time. All right.